What's up guys and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I'm going to help you guys complete all four of this week's Forza Thon challenges in which you can win the number 7 M Sport Bentley GT3. Uh, very very cool car but without further ado let's get stuck into the challenges here. So the first one wants you to win three races in a Bentley to win the number 7 M Sport Bentley GT3. The next challenge here wants you to perform 20 speed skills to earn 55,000 XP. Third one here just wants you to complete a championship to win three wheel spins and the final one wants you to complete any co-op event to receive 95,000 credits. So some very easy challenges. What I'm going to show you guys how to do first is how to complete the first and third challenges. Uh, so the first one wants you to win three races in a Bentley to obviously win the main prize, the Bentley GT7. Uh, and the last one wants you to complete a championship to get three wheel spins. First of all, what we're going to do here is pick a Bentley. Now you can pick whichever one you want, it does not matter. I ended up just going for the Continental Super Sports, but you can pick whichever one you want. Uh, then obviously I went and set up a championship. So I started at the highway circuit and I made it just for Bentleys. Obviously picked three races there. Now the key thing here is to win all three of your races. So as for the actual championship challenge, it only wants you to complete that championship. So that doesn't matter where you finish. But the first challenge in order to win uh, the GT7 Bentley wants you to win all three of the races. So obviously we've got three races in the championship, win them all. At the end of the third race of the championship here, obviously as long as you've got first place in all of them, you'll receive the first achievement and you'll unlock the Bentley M Sports GT3 uh, number 17. And then obviously when that's gone and you've continued this, uh, you'll get to the last screen which will say championship complete. And then you'll have achieved basically the third challenge and you will receive three wheel spins. So it shouldn't take you any more than five minutes. It's a very, very easy challenge in order to complete two of them. Uh, the next one here wants you to perform 20 speed skills to earn 55,000 XP. Now there are two places you can do this and you can do it in whichever car you want. I recommend it's a fast car. Now I'm going to show you guys obviously on the highway but you can do it at the airfield also. Uh, as well as that obviously if you'd have done the championship prior to this you would have already racked up a few speed skills anyway. So it's just a case of keep on speeding down the highway or airfield uh, until you obviously get the achievement. Chances are you would have got about 5 to 10 maybe in the championship in the previous challenges. Uh, so it won't take you long to get more of them. Maybe one run in the highway is all you'll need. But if you do this one first, a couple of runs on the highway it won't even take you a couple of minutes. Very, very quick and very, very easy challenge here. Not that hard at all and a very easy 55,000 XP. And like I said, you're probably part way there by the time you get onto it anyway. Uh, as for the final challenge, wanting you to complete any co-op event to receive 95,000 credits is another very easy one. Uh, so you'll go across to your social tab here on the pause menu uh, and then select co-op campaign. Now you can do it where you create your own session and invite your friends or you can do what I did and just find a random co-op session. Now an event can be classed as a race, a head-to-head, -head, anything. Uh, in this instance I show you where basically I got invited to do a head-to-head. -head. Uh, you can always do the invite and it doesn't matter. I'm sure you guys know what head-to-head -head is. It's just a 1v1 race to a uh, certain point uh, in the map. Now it's not that hard, it doesn't matter if you lose it either, uh, as long as you complete it, so you collect your rewards and you get to the end. In terms of a head to head race, the best thing to do is obviously come first in order to complete it. But like I said, it's not that hard, you can jump in with friends, or if like me you don't have any friends, <laughs> you can just jump into a random session. Uh, but anyway guys, I hope this helped you out and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you've also seen my previous video which shows some brand new Forza Horizon 4 gameplay including some customization uh, and some new things they've added into the game. It's very very cool. Uh, next week they're going to hopefully be releasing the map size etc. So I will hope to get some videos on that as well. But a massive thank you to everyone who's been supporting me. I hope that you will all like this and subscribe to stay tuned for more Forza Horizon 3 videos and Forza Horizon 4. But a massive thank you and good luck in this Forza-thon.